Hi guys, another brief update. I'll show you what we're doing because we're going to go away tomorrow. We're going to have two nights in the van. There's no running water, but we're going to go and do what we do. So there's the cushions in, table's done, everything's connected up, all the electrics is done. We've got some overheads there. And I've got some baskets that fit in there nicely. Just put this rug down just to hide the floor really because it's still got the original van floor in. Um, countertops done. Fridge freezer goes into that one. I've got a bungee rope on there. The cooking stove goes into there and I'm getting a bungee rope for that tonight or tomorrow morning before we set off. That uh, electric's wired up there. So that's on the inverter um, and hookup. So when we get onto the hookup, that switches over to be the 240 mains, I think, I hope. I'm not really sure. A um, couple of bits of shelves up somewhere. No, that's just for phones and stuff. We've still got a lot to do, a long way to go. But right now, we're going to have two nights in it. Um, got some blackout curtains up there, which pull across. I've made a... This has got a blind on, as you know. I've made a one for the door window and I've got to make one for that. Okay, happy days. Let you know how we get on. So here's the let you know how we get on video clip. Um, didn't go well. I don't know what we were expecting. I don't know if we were, we've never done camping. Never mind going off in a van. Now we'd only gone local, maybe five miles from our house. Nice site, uh, electric hookup and things like that and it's really nice you know toilet block showers everything clean everything just what you want a little bit expensive uh, 36 pound a night so we booked two nights friday and saturday and off we went um we only did the friday because by half past 10 saturday morning um we weren't comfortable we weren't things weren't right and we said we're not going to do that again for another night there's lots of modifications to be done so you can see over my shoulder look the kitchen uh countertop has been taken off already so <sighs> fortunately during the build i only use screws i don't use glue or, or very little glue so it's not going to be too difficult to modify so i'll tell you what we noticed and what we're going to try and do um <sighs> yeah so for the modifications this kitchen is 40 centimeters and this bit of iron layer is 40 centimeters this bit is a bit wider because this chair as you can see encroaches a little bit the chair side um the fridge in that slidey drawer underneath there were an absolute nightmare um the runners aren't on right and this is me being you know shoddy not being not being uh, precise i think um, but to get anything out of the fridge became a bit of a chew, more or less a two-man job where somebody had to stand at, at, at one side over there, another one this side, pull it open, get it out, put it back. It just became a bit of a difficult thing. Um, the countertop I put on, as you often do in, in houses anyway, you have a, an overhang. So I gave myself quite a bit of an overhang because all this front and drawer fronts and cupboard fronts has all got to go on yet so I cut it in a way that you know gave me maybe four or five centimeters overhang of course that then reduces the aisle space and everything you were touching everything as you were walking about um, the toilet's not big enough so yes you can let's see if we'll put a light on there you go so yes, you can get on the toilet, but um, using it for anything else, so getting changed and things like that. We've got a 16 year old son. The wife obviously don't want to get changed in front of him um, and vice versa, you know, so this needs amending. And what we think we're going to do now is we are going to take this space and we're going to go over that wheel arch, which is what we, I didn't want to do because it's going to be difficult for sealing and you know because the wheel arch then will come into this corner so this this wall will be pushed right down but we are going to make it we're going to make it narrower so we're going to go that way but bring it that way 
So that was the next one was the toilet shower wasn't big enough. So that needs to be amended, adjusted, made bigger. The other one, which is disappointing for me, is the bed. Uh, so we wanted to sleep this way. And I've used these recesses here to get right in. I still couldn't sleep straight. I still ended up, I ended up with my toes over here, diagonally and my head right up in this corner, which is not very good. Um, the wife were fine, she's smaller than me. She just, she laid over there. But then she didn't want to climb over me to go to the toilet and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to reorientate the bed, we think, um, and have her sleeping this way. So we can just slide out the bottom. To do that, I've got to do something with this kitchen because my feet are going to come to, I'm going to come to about here. So whether I do something where there's an extra piece here for me to lay this way, she can lay that way. Then it seems like we've wasted a lot of space over here then because we weren't going to, we're not going to change the mattress round. We're going to leave the mattress that way. And I think we should be changing the mattress. So there's a lot to work out in my head. And I, when I say changing the mattress, I mean changing the orientation of the mattress. So literally move it so it's, it's lengthways. That will give us a gap down the side, whichever side I pick. And I could put some units in that gap and utilise that space. I could go right up the side here and put, you know, full cupboards in. I've seen somebody do that. Um, but then the, the mattress then will come right out here and we won't get this expansion this way. So there's still a lot of thinking to do as to what it is. But the first things first is this kitchen comes to pieces um, and I rebuild it. I rebuild it maybe a couple of centimetres narrower. I've got to keep in mind the fridge because that's a fixed size. So I've got to build it to fit the fridge. And what I'm thinking is to not have the drawer anymore, build a fridge on a shelf, have my countertop sort of coming along here. And I've just seen the problem straight away, which is this. But my, my thoughts were to have my countertop coming along here on a hinge and a, and a split and you lift the countertop up, access your fridge, put your countertop down. But that's going to be in way. Or the other thing we noticed when it came to getting the beds out was I fitted the table rail and when it came to getting the bed out, it is. So some modifications to be done. These were all right, happy with these. They obviously need tidying up and finishing. Definitely need more storage on there because what we did was we unpacked everything. So the countertop was just absolutely full of bottles of water, food, kitchen rolls, blah, 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 everything. So if we had it, we, if we had the units up there, we would have piled it all in there, which is what it's for. Um, so yeah, some work to be done. I've got my table set up ready to go it's saturday it's going to be 27 degrees in the uk 9th of september and uh, I've, I've had a week off so i came back and then i didn't touch the van for a week so because i was a bit disheartened all that work and now i'm gonna have to undo it but on the bright side it's not glued it's only screwed i can dismantle everything rework it out and hopefully make it better and that's what that trick was for to test it so we tested it and we found the issues hopefully that's the last of the issues but we'll see probably not and i don't know what we we're expecting you know are we expecting it to be the comforts of home and everything to be as you have it in your house because that's not the case um so yeah i'm gonna crack on and then i'll update you oh don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get updates and new videos when I put them out. My ass. So, work in progress. So the shower walls come out, which was there. And obviously fastened to the end of these, so you can see that that's gone. The bed's gone, the bed walls come out, the kitchen's out. And now it's a case of reconstituting things and rebuilding things. 
hopefully to us to a more comfortable standard and then we'll put it all back Woohoo!